Cobra Kai Season 4 streamed on Netflix beginning on December 31st, 2021, and was another huge win for the streamer. The wait for Season 5 will thankfully be a short one, as Cobra Kai is set to return to Netflix in September 2022. As we wait, Cobra Kai Season 5's The Karate Kid Connections are explained by the show's co-creator Hayden Schlossberg. This and more in today's video. So how is Cobra Kai connected with Karate Kid? Cobra Kai, of course, draws its inspiration from the 1984 hit film The Karate Kid and its sequels. But far from just rehashing the movies, the Netflix show indeed expands upon the world introduced all those years ago by director John G. Avildin's Feel Good Underdog movie. Part of that expansion, of course, involves exploring a new generation of characters who are introduced to karate by the original movie's rivals Daniel LaRusso, Ralph Macchio, and Johnny Lawrence. William Zapka. It also involves those same young characters getting wrapped up in old grudges, while simultaneously trying to find their own way in the world, creating conflicts that are inevitably worked out via epic karate matches. Speaking recently to Variety about how the show manages to achieve its unique blend of elements, co-creator Schlossberg got into how he and the writers execute the tightrope act of making something new while still paying tribute to the original Karate Kid. Schlossberg says it's fun to expand the universe by bringing in new characters, but he and his fellow writers always start out by returning to the story's origins. The bonsai tree grows, Schlossberg said by way of analogy. Obviously, there's a difference between drawing on something for inspiration and merely imitating it. Cobra Kai thus far has done an admirable job of keeping the spirit of the Karate Kid alive while establishing something new. Next, Cobra Kai Season 4 set up Mike Barnes' return and what Cobra Kai's creators have said about Mike Barnes' return. Cobra Kai curiously included two teases for a future Mike Barnes appearance in Season 4. The first happened shortly after Daniel learned that Terry Silver was back in town. After hearing about it, Amanda asked Daniel if there was anyone else from his karate days who could end up coming back into his life. Daniel started to say no, but reconsidered the thought, presumably because Barnes hasn't shown up yet. The series went a step further in the Cobra Kai season 4 finale, when Kreese was arrested. Silver said that he would run Cobra Kai and Kreese's plan, and call in an old friend or two to help with that. Since Barnes already has a well-known association with Silver via the Karate Kid Part 3, this was interpreted as a clear nod to Barnes and the possibility of him becoming an ally to Silver when the show returns. Unsurprisingly, Cobra Kai co-creators John Hurwitz, John Held, and Hayden Schlossberg have avoided confirmation of any intentions to use Sean Cannon's Mike Barnes, but they have made it abundantly clear that an appearance from his character is indeed on the table, via Heavy. Before Season 4 was released, Hurwitz said that Barnes appearing in the series is certainly possible. Schlossberg also said that for those who want Julie Pierce and Barnes to come back, we're definitely the show to do it. What Sean Cannon has said about Mike Barnes' return, and other evidence that Mike Barnes Barnes is returning. Cannon's own comments on the matter support the idea that Barnes could become involved with Cobra Kai at some point in the show's future. Cannon, who has claimed to be a fan of the series, said in the past that he'd like to see Barnes come back as a good guy who joined the military after the Karate Kid Part 3. However, he's refrained from discussing whether or not there are any actual plans for him to appear. According to Cannon, it wouldn't be fair to the show or the writers if he confirmed or denied his involvement. A photo believed to be taken in the Atlanta area where the series is filmed, shows Cannon with Cobra Kai's pawn shop owner. This has naturally increased the amount of speculation surrounding the possibility of Barnes paying a visit to the Valley in Cobra Kai Season 5. Yet it doesn't do enough to confirm his role in the upcoming season. But Cannon, being pictured with another Cobra Kai actor, does at least provide some degree of evidence that supports all the Mike Barnes theories. Is Mike Barnes in Cobra Kai Season 5? Also, what Mike Barnes' role in Cobra Kai Season 5 could be. Of the two Karate Kid characters that are discussed the most when it comes to who could join Cobra Kai, with the other being Hilary Swank's Julia Pierce, Barnes has the strongest case for a Season 5 role. Not only do both the creators and the actor seem open to it becoming a reality, but Cobra Kai Season 4 quite clearly set it up. Barnes wouldn't be difficult to work into the story, since Silver needs allies to help him in his efforts to 
make Cobra Kai stronger than ever, and the finale heavily implied that Silver would bring him in. Plus, Barnes just makes perfect sense for Cobra Kai's current storyline. Right now, the show is doing a story with Daniel and every major trilogy villain, except Barnes, fighting it out in a dojo war. Adding Barnes would help make this arc feel complete. All things considered, Barnes has an excellent chance of being a secret season 5 character with a major role in the battles ahead. A general assumption about what Barnes would bring to the table, if he were to come back, is that he would renew his Karate Kid 3 partnership with Silver. Since the Cobra Kai Season 5 trailer confirmed that Silver will fulfill his promise to open up new dojos, he'll probably need well-trained and like-minded karate practitioners to run them. One of these new Cobra Kai senseis could very well turn out to be Barnes, who could eventually come into conflict with Daniel. Since Daniel beat him in the tournament, but so far hasn't been able to take him down in a real fight, Cobra Kai Season 5 can allow the two characters to find which one is truly the better fighter. Alternatively, the show can offer a surprise twist by having Barnes refuse Silver's invitation to join Cobra Kai. Barnes seemingly had no redeemable qualities in Karate Kid Part 3, but given how much time has passed, it's at least possible that Barnes has turned over a new leaf, and could end up teaming up with one of the other dojos against Silver in Cobra Kai Season 5. Moving on, will Johnny and Daniel work together in Cobra Kai Season 5? Despite the fallout of the collaboration between Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang, there is still hope for a Johnny and Daniel team-up in Cobra Kai. Season 4 ended with a truce between the two senseis, as they realized that the only way Sam could stand a chance in the finals was if they worked together. Sam lost the fight against Tori, but at least it was possible to see Johnny and Daniel putting their differences aside. Still, Cobra Kai Season 5 will not focus on the duo's relationship, at least not initially. Johnny and Robbie are headed to Mexico to find Miguel, while Daniel is teaming up with Chosen to oppose Terry Silver's expanded Cobra Kai. After Season 4 was so focused on the rivalry between Daniel and Johnny, it's possible that the two main characters remain distant plot-wise during part of Season 5. In fact, Johnny's story at the moment is more about reconnecting with Cobra Kai's Robbie and Miguel than it is about Karate or Daniel LaRusso. That said, for Terry Silver to be defeated, it will take more than Miyagi-Do Karate. Finally, why Cobra Kai's best ending is a team-up. How many seasons will Cobra Kai have is a question that remains unanswered, but one theory already details the show's best ending. Cobra Kai Season 1 had the Karate Kid legacy as its tagline, something that the show honors to this day. References and callbacks to the first three Karate Kid movies abound in Cobra Kai, but the show does not rely on nostalgia only. For example, John Kreese returned at the end of Cobra Kai Season 1 to become the show's main villain in Seasons 2 and 3, and now the Karate Kid Part 3 villain Terry Silver has taken over the Cobra Kai dojo in the valley itself. The Karate Kid Part 2's Chosen is also back, now as Daniel's Miyagi-Do partner, and many believe that Mike Barnes returns in Cobra Kai Season 5. The Karate Kid and Cobra Kai saga were built on rivalries, both on the mat and in the characters' personal lives. From Johnny and Daniel in 1984, to Robbie and Miguel, or Sam and Tori in the present day, many of the main characters' personalities were created throughout those rivalries, to the point it can get repetitive in some moments. Obviously, there will always have to be some level of dispute, karate-wise or in personal life, for there to be an entertaining conflict in Cobra Kai. That's why, whenever the show runs out of stories, the best ending for Cobra Kai would be the creation of one dojo that somehow combines the legacies and philosophies of both Daniel LaRusso's Miyagi-Do and Johnny Lawrence's improved Cobra Kai. Unfortunately, that's all the time we had for today. Thanks for sticking with us till the very end. Cheers!